Haleluya. Tino kukwa zisai muzitara ishi wedu Jesu Kristu. Wakati umambranda wake pongwa je wa Afrika kuzoro mm. zawano tenda. Musaba tarakera nasi panguwa inu. Tino pambiri ya kapetwa kuna mwari babawa ishi wedu Jesu Kristu mufuzi wedu mchengeti wemea yedu. Murwiri na mutariri wedu. Anuti tarira mkufara, mkuhipa. Mukunaka, Murufu, Mupenyu, Anenga inesungu wa zose. Tino mutenda mwariwedu. Tino tenda ishe watisanga nisa jakare na asi musaba tarake. Aripaka tipedu. Ia kati ndinemi mazwa ose. Kunyangu ushika pa uguma kwenyika. Hapana nguwe nga tongo shika ya nga kusemuri moga. Saka tinozi wangu ti anesu tinaye. We thank God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our salvation, our hope, in whom all things were made, in whom all things are sustained. We thank him for this Sabbath, for his message that was being taught this morning. The message of love, the love of Jesus Christ. To say we need to have that kind of love. The love that sacrifices itself. The love that says, I need to sacrifice everything that I have for the sake of the salvation. The love of God that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on our behalf so that we might live. The love that gave the son, Jesus Christ, to suffer so that we shouldn't suffer. We thank God for that. I'm really encouraged. I'm really encouraged to see men of God, children of God, being moved by the Spirit of God with so much power and passion. May you please forgive me to show that this is a live recording. I've just run out of battery, so I need to, I forgot to switch on the battery. Uh, may you just forgive me while I do that. I am back again. This just shows you that we're doing things in real time and it's not a pre-recording. Forgive me for that. I was just saying, it's really encouraging to see the children of God being moved by the Spirit and being passionate and full of zeal for the Word. I could see the passion that was in the young man as he was delivering the message of God of love, the message of love, the love of Christ Jesus. And it's true, the Quran, you know, there's a saying that says, like father, like son. I could see the father of that young man, um, Vangeli Guatizo, back in his day, the late. He, he, he moved with such passion. He was passionate about what he believed in. I remember when he was being interviewed, when he was interviewing Mudzidzi at some point, uh, when he was doing the translation to English for part one. He really wanted to, to understand the man of God, Mudzidzi Smuranda Omar Pomaji of Africa. He really wanted to understand how it's possible that he was even talking to him because he really believed that Mradawamaraka Tumanamari 
and he went to the extent of saying mimi mudzidzisi tofauti tikuvharirei and store you somewhere else because ah, we need you know so i could see that passion also coming through the young man like father like son we thank god for that whatever we believe in we need to do it anzi idamwari wako nemwe wako wose nefungwa dzako dzose with everything that you have when it comes to chinamato we need to give all our all for the kingdom when we preach we need to preach with all that we have when we love we need to love with all that we have so we thank god for that we hope people continue to be inspired by the word to be given hope hallelujah we thank god for that and we thank god for the word of the angel of africa mrando amari pomaje wa africa cuz he is interceding on our behalf that this plague that we find in the world today corona should be eradicated in the name of jesus christ only through prayer can we overcome and we know the men of god mrando amari pomaje of africa ataura achiti gazvipere so it is our belief nokuda kuti shokore nume shokora mwari we know ngarano zwa kukumbira kwake ndekunyengetira kwake so let's be hopeful while we wait for time kuti pangwa ino let's hold fast to the promises of god let's hold fast to the hope of a better day tomorrow let's be comforted by the word of god to the promises that he made to us you know i was reminded of a song and the dance wa inzwira ko rino di daitsa di shambitse moyo wangu pane ropara ku ndo uya jesu kwa uri sherest bain shambiza moyo wangu pane ropara ku nda shaya masimba iwe uchandipa uchandi shambiza kwazo ucha ndichenisa toya kuna jeso unto him only jesus christ can we go and can we find sustenance paul in 1965 mrando amari paul majo africa i read from kutumwa kwa paul majo wa africa chikam chechipiri from page 11 i'll go to verse 5 ndakasimudzwa namwe ya mutene bari msoro shoko says ani nani ane nzara ngauye ajike pasi na mutengo ndakasimudzwa namwe ya mutsene ndokusimudzwa mumhepo mumakore ndichidaidzira ndichiti ani nani ane nzara ngauye ajike pasi na mutengo momo yavanhu yave pasi yakadaidzira ichiti unoti gutsa neiko ndakavapindura ndichiti ndinokudyisai mashoko anobva kudenga pakarepo kwakasimuka vanhu vakawanda kwazvo kubva kuma TV ose omsangana vachuya kumaoko akanga akatambanudzwa kuti vagamuchire kudya kutrene kunobva kudenga ah yakavanguva inoshamisa kwazvo zvino inzwi rakataura richibva kudenga richiti my blessed gospel to the nations this is the gospel of jesus christ to the nations this is the gospel that gives hope where there is no hope this is jesus christ in his love 
He died that we might have life. He suffered so that we might not suffer. Therefore, it's now our time to reflect Jesus in our lives. Like I said last week, we need to start reflecting Christ, the nature of Christ, the love of Christ. We need to start reflecting it in our own lives. We are faced right now with this pandemic called COVID-19. Here in South Africa only recently, we've been informed that our lockdown is going to be extended further by another two weeks. So meaning it's not going to end in, in April, end of April. I know in Botswana is a similar situation. In Zimbabwe, it's going to be similar again. All over the world, it's most likely going to be similar. And in this time, it's trying times because, because of the sin of Eve, Adam, Akatadza, after Adam sinned, he was told that you shall eat the fruit of your toil. We survive through working, going to work, looking after ourselves. And then we put food on the table. We get clothes to dress ourselves. But because of this situation, all over the world, here in South Africa, in Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, Kenya, in Africa, in the United Kingdom, in America, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia, people are not going to work. So what do we do in such a situation where we face with a situation where we're not able to go to work, all of us? Do we just look? Because now there are families that are not able to sustain themselves. There are ch children who still need to be breastfed but they cannot be breastfed when the mother is hungry, when there's no food on the table. What do we do in such a situation? That's when the word of God says, but you are the body of Christ. Meaning, I might be here alone, but I'm not alone. I've got my brothers and sisters. Some are wherever they are. We are the body of Christ. When I suffer, they suffer. When I bleed, the body of Christ bleeds. When my sister next door bleeds, I bleed. When my brother is hungry in Arare, when my brother in Christ is hungry in Namibia, in Botswana, here in South Africa, all over the world, I am hungry. So do we just look as the children of God or are we now being called to act? This is a time now where we need to act. I'm going to read scripture, but before I read, I would like to pray. Heavenly Father in heaven, Baba we shuru Jesu Christ. Mufudzi wakanaka muchengeti wedu. Isuvanu vako, vawakasika ni mfarani zi wako. Tinoya pambiri poso buka wako mwari. Kwete neku gona kwedu, kana neku ziva kwedu. Nukutu kuziva kwedu kwa pera. Kwete ne njigere zedu, nukuta atina njigere kugona nde kwako. Ah, mwari unenye tisi, mwari unenye asha. Tinukumbira kutu wise shoku ujika hapa matafura vanu waku. Tinukumbira mwaru wise utano muupenyu vanu waku. Kutimepo inga vuvute. Asi. Tivumba mire. Tivumba mire. Muma papiromu ya waku. Titariri necheza choso buraku. Mwari baba wane tsiti mwaru nengoni. Chengeteza vanu waku kose kose. Mbiri yako kuwapo kwako kuwepakati pedu. Ijitoshu kumbira mzitala Jesu Kristu. Wakati mamuranda wake po mwajwa Afrika utazuro zivaka tenda kwa uri Kristu. Ngajwe sekudaru. Inzi waku kumbira nukuchema kwedu pangua ino nestala Jesu. Amen. Thank God for that. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12 
then 25 to 26. I'll continue to Acts 4, 32 up to 35. I'll then go to James 2, verse 14 to 20, and skip to 25 and 26. Later, I'll read John, I'll, I'll read Luke 3, verse 11, and Acts 20, verse 35. I'll finish off by reading Proverbs 3, verse 27 to 28. Starting off with 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also in Christ. Verse 28, verse 25. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, you are the body of Christ and members individually. And God has appointed these in the church. The word of God is saying, though we are diverse, though we are individuals, though we have different circumstances, but in the body of Christ, we are one. That's what I was talking about when I was saying, if my sister in Soshanguve is hungry, I am hungry because she is a member in the body of Christ. This is the time now where we should stop talking about the word of God, but start living the word of God. Preacher Guatizo said, the angel of Africa, Paul Maj of Africa, is reflecting Christ, is reflecting the love of Christ. Are you reflecting the love of Christ? Christ sacrificed his life for the sake of the body of Christ. He sacrificed his life so that we might have life. He died so that we might live. He suffered so that we shouldn't suffer. Now it's our time to walk that path. It does not help to preach a word, a good word, but we are not doers of that word. What is love? Love is to sacrifice what we have. Love loves without condition. Love does not, is not self-seeking. Love is not self-centered. Love is no pride. We're talking about the love of Jesus Christ. The love that sacrifices itself for the sake of the body of Christ. I'll read from Acts 4, verse 32. Acts 4, verse 32. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. This was at Jerusalem when they were waiting for the Holy Spirit. And after the Holy Spirit had come, though in one accord, neither did anyone say that any one of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. Right now, 
this is a time where as Christians we need to say, I am my brother's keeper. Not like Cain, who after being asked by God, where is your brother Abel? He says, I'm not my brother's keeper. We are now having to say, this is us now. We are a generation that says, I am my brother's keeper. The welfare of my brother is my responsibility. It's up to me in times like this to see that my neighbor has food on the table. This is the good news that Jesus uh, preached. This is the love of Christ. It's not about food on your table only right now. There are people who haven't gone to work for the past three weeks, others four weeks, and people who rely on using their hands to feed their mouths and put, 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 put bread on the table. Are we just going to say, ah, is that enough? Others are working. So the message is really for us as the body of Christ to say, what are we doing as Christians to our brothers and sisters? Are we calling to find out whether there's food on the table of our congregants? Yes, health, we will have good health. God, through his blood, he will cover us during this time. We might get sick, but we'll be healed. For others, most of us, we won't get sick. This time will come and it will pass. But the devastation of the effects of the lockdowns that we are in are going to stay for a while. Others had just started their businesses. Others had just got a new job. But people are being retrenched right now because companies cannot afford to look after people while they sit at home. What do we do as a body of Christ? Do we just watch as the hand is struggling and I say no because I'm the nose, I'm fine? Or do I say, I've got two hands, let the other hand put a bandage on the other hand so that I might be healed? This is the time where we need to remove self-centeredness and it's time where we need to start looking at us as the body of Christ, looking after the needs of the brother. Continuing in Acts 4. And with great power the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Nor was there anyone among them who lagged. Nor was there anyone among them who lagged. For all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of the things that were sold and laid them at the apostles' feet and they distributed to each as anyone had need. There are others who are still going to work. There are others who might not be going to work, but God has blessed them. They have savings. But amongst us, as the children of God, as the body of Christ, I can speak for a fact here in Africa, I know most of the people, of our people who are, who are coming here, it's people who have come here as economic refugees. It's people who've come to look for work and employment, to look after their families wherever they are. I'm not talking about Zimbabweans only. I'm talking everywhere. People are working to sustain themselves. And some of our people are self-employed. They go selling things. If they don't make a sale today, they don't have food tomorrow. Others have formal employment. That's great, and we praise God for that, and we want more of that. Some are still working online, going to work, 
do at home, they sit, they work at home. But others have to use their hands to work, but they cannot use their hands right now to work physically. It's three weeks, like I've said. What are we doing as the children of God? I was just looking at those people and saying, Is that enough? Surely not. So the word of God is appealing to the children of God who are in more privileged positions and who are better off in this kind of situation to go out now like they did in Jerusalem and say, that which I have, I need to share with the less fortunate in my time right now. This is the message of love, the love of Christ that was being preached, the love that sacrifices what it has so that it can gain for the greater body of Christ. Is the love that sacrifices and say, let me suffer so that my brother should not suffer. Or is the love that says, let me suffer together with my brother. I'm not, put, I'm not saying put, in yourself, put yourself in the house way. I'm not saying be reckless with your possessions. No, tomorrow shall come. You shall continue to have to work. You also have a responsibility to your family. But I'm saying the plenty that we have, the excess that we have, let's share with the less fortunate in our times. This is what the angel of Africa has taught us to love unconditionally. I've seen him several times. People go to him with gifts, but he looks at a person and says, you know what, my son, you need this more than I do. At some point he would say, I need a chamber, Marinicha and say, Chenna Shand say where. Yet he could have easily taken it. That's why last week we were saying, let's not be lovers of treasures of this world. But this is time now to use those treasures in the body of Christ. I'll read James 2, verse 14. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to him, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Faith without works is dead. It's just faith. Right now, because of the situation we are all finding ourselves in, we have each other. I am my brother's keeper. You are your brother's keeper. We're not Cain's of this world. No. We cannot say, God, why are you asking me about Muvangeri Ningi Ningi? I'm not related to him. You are. He is part of the body of Christ. God is love. Love is sacrificing. Those that have, we thank God for that. Because that was part of God's plan, actually. For I know, um, <laughs> I'm actually now tempted to read this. Um, you see, we've got a duty to bless other people. We, we, we've got a responsibility as the children of God to make sure that the body of Christ does not suffer when we are there. When I am there and I'm able, my ability needs to make the disability of someone else be improved. I'm a child of God in the body of Christ with another. 
I have a very simple message. I'm not going to talk about a lot of things. I'm just appealing to the children of God to look after the children of God in this situation that we find ourselves in. We're now having destitutes out there. We're now having, I've received a lot of calls over the past couple of weeks. People in dire need of food right now. We're now talking about a situation where we need to put food on the table of other people. And the onus is on us as the children of God. My fellow congregant. We know there are there, there are people like that. So I'm appealing to the children of God, the body of Christ. Kuti ngatirati zema basa. Rati zaima basa. Rati zaima basa. Ukundiko kutenda. Kup the love that sacrifices what it has. I'll continue. And you say, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them things which are needed for the body. What does it profit? Thus also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Right now, there are unbelievers, people who we call heathens. People, but the problem is, we just speakers of the word. We speak the word, but we don't do the word. Because would have reflected the works of believers. I'll continue. You do well. Show me your faith without works, and I will show you my faith by my works. That's what others are saying right now. That's what others are doing right now. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even demons believe and tremble, but do you want sorry you believe that there is one god you do well even the demons believe and tremble but do you want to know O oh foolish men that faith without works is dead <laughs> continuing to 25. Likewise was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Like the body without the spirit is dead. The body without the spirit is dead. That's why it's impossible for us to just be readers of the word, but not doers of the word. Right now, I'm just appealing to the children of God, the body of Christ, to love one another with the love of Christ that was preached by the preacher earlier so that we can reflect Christ's love through our words, through our works, through our deeds, through our actions, through what we do. 
But today I'm appealing to the children of God to say, you will forgive me for repeating myself. But Ngati Sangoti, ah, Narakwiti Shakanak. God uses people. Naranuto Feka Moon, Naroto Shandi Samun. Today you are the person God is talking to you. My parents van em cheche arkuyamga van gaere. The duty is on you. I'm not saying give me money, I don't want your money. I'm saying your brother, your fellow Christian, your fellow congregant. It's time now we stop talking. You know, I always say the Muranda Mari Pomajo, Africa Katunga Namari. Asa na utuma kuti tingoti akatuma. No. Akatuma kuti azurudzi vanotenda. Anu vazurudza se aru vazurudza se. Argu is reflecting Christ. Akatuma kuti tuone kuti it's possible to be a child of God, to be a man of God and live according to the word. Nobula kuti argu taura zvaka. Anu ita zvaka akaparidza. Anu ita zvaka paridza. Akararama anu rarama upenyu haka paridza. Mashoko anu taura ni muromo wake tukua awona mu upenyu bwake. Shimi no baidu with the big rabbi den or spine jewel or baidu. Jen makra baidu we shen erapa. Jelo este e baidu. Rish makro den e ba. Last question. Isusu. Mashoko edu haruku oneko erina upenyu wa tukura rama. Are we doers of what we say? Or we just say, yet mabasa edu ano pesa neja, tino taura neja, tino paridza. Yet atikuwa nisa kupupura mashoko edu, ne upenyo atino la rama. Atikuwa nisa kupupura mashoko edu, neja, tino ita. Shelo ita. I'm appealing to the children of God. Let's love each other with the love of Christ. The love that sacrifice the love that is not self-seeking the love that is no pride the love that does not seek for its own the love that gives itself for the greater good for the body of christ for when all has been said and done it's only the body of christ that remains for i shall die but the body of christ will remain our grandfathers our forefathers died but the body of christ remains my children shall pass away but the body of christ shall remain that's why he's the rich direction is the life I appeal to the children of God. We are our brother's keeper in these moments. You know, I like what James says um, later on in verse 25, 26. He says, Likewise was not Rahab the harlot justified by works. Rahab, she was a harlot. She was a prostitute. In Jericho. Rahab was a prostitute in Jericho, a well known prostitute for that matter. Yet by her works, she received the messengers that had been sent by Joshua when they were sent to go and spy in Jericho. She hid the messengers of the Lord, the Israelites. And that was counted. <laughs> For good works. Pakazo parents got Jericho. Ha, ye na Rahab, the hallowed chief of age. She was saved with her family for the good works she had done. But Rave Wuri, Wuri Raka Poniska na Mabasa. Yet there are others amongst us who think they're going to be saved by the words that they speak. No, you're fooling yourself. We are saved by works. That's why James goes on to say, For is the body without, the spirit is dead. So faith without works is dead. Later on in the chapter, James goes on and says, Ah, we are saved by works. And part of my Roman, 
Ben James on Van Damme wrote, no, we are saved by works. I'm appealing to you. I'm not, it's not about forcing each other. No, the word can only convict you. When you're convicted by the word, it's the, the conviction of the word that then moves you to act. So those that are not ours will not hear us. So the word appeals to those that are born of the spirit. Where the spirit is, the word of God then comes and then it bears fruit. For we are the eldest in Arash. That is divine. For we are the children of God, the body of Christ. We are one in Christ, loved by the same Father, who through his love he gave us his son Jesus Christ. Now we are brothers with him, Christ. Heirs together of this, that same salvation, Yet, you know, <laughs> love, love is not self righteous. It's not. Love is not self righteous. You know, I, 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 there's, a, there's, there's a scripture that really humbles me, which says, um, Yet while we were sinners, Christ died for us. I find it very powerful to say, yet while we were sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us. That's why now, you forgive me, we, we, we don't really celebrate days and months, and, and, and that's why we're not really dwelling on, the, on Easter. It's just a holiday. We dwell on the message, on the word of God. You know, yet while we were sinners, Christ died for us. So this knowledge that we have of Christ, it didn't come by works, by what we had done right. But it was just grace that came upon us. Now we have the Spirit of God in these bodies, in this form that we have. Now the Word of God through His Spirit is now appealing to the children of God to say, you are your brother's keeper. I'm finishing just now. Sorry for, you know, Continuing and continuing. Luke 3, verse 11. He answered and said to them, He who has two tunics, let him give to him who has none. There are others amongst us who have none right now. And he who has food, let him do likewise. I'm appealing to people with plenty during this moment. Like I've said earlier, with people who are not working, we haven't been working. It's not their fault. It's not their own doing. People can't go out of their homes right now. But the body needs to feed. The body needs to eat. Right now, we're talking about food only. We're not even talking about clothing because we can still dress what we have. But we're talking about food right now. Could there are people amongst there that we call brothers? The Apostle Rajas. Right now. Those that are I appeal to the love of Christ. I am really appealing to the spirit of love in us to reach out a hand to a person in need right now because of the situation that we're in to love unconditionally even if it's someone but they cannot suffer while we are there, while you are there. I'll read again Luke 3. He answered, Luke 3 verse 11. He answered and said to them, He who has two tunics, embe, let him give him who has none. And he who has food, let him do likewise. Acts 20 verse 35. I've shown you in every way by laboring like this that you must support the weak. There are others who are weak amongst us right now. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus. I must go to Christ to I. 
that he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Proverbs 3 in ending. Depends on our Proverbs 3, verse 28 and verse 27 and 28. I'm sorry. Do not, withdraw, do not withhold good from, from those to whom it is due. When it is in the power of your hands, Do not withhold good from those whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hands to do so. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it, when you have it with you. So I'm, I'm not talking about what you don't have. I'm talking about what you have. To say we are appealing that the children of God, let's give. God blesses through us. God uses us to bless other people. Like the message that was given to the angel of Africa, Africa. I shouldn't see. If we were poor, I'm going to bless you. you know, let me, uh, uh, let me, let me, let me read. Um, Kutunga kwa poor maji wa Africa. Chikam chichi pire again. Vest, uh, page, um, page 12. Chizaro chinoti. Muchinda wenyika ino. Aka kanga nisa nzira. Zavan vangu. This was in 1965. Mswa 10, um, 10 April. Nezuwa iri. Ndakanga ndiri pamsoro pedombo na vamwe vanhu vatatu. Mumwe wavarume ava waye vane bvudzi refu. Waye vane bvudzi refu kwazvo. Rakayerera. Nerura rengaita 2.2 feet kureba which is about 75 um two and a half, two and a half uh, cent, uh rulers. Pachizov pashika mumwe murume Muche na chena, wakava mavazua, wakataura achiti. Muchinda wenyika ino, wakanganisa nzira zavanu wangu. Ataura kudaro, ndaka simu za msoro wangu, kutarisa kumsoro north. Ndoku tarisa ajwe kuzasi south. Ndoku wana nzira zose, zango wa makoronga. Uye nzizi zose, zisina mazambuko, okubira nao. This is the time we're in. People can't even move. Think it's a, it was, this describes a dire situation. Brandomari was seeing a dire situation that had before, befallen the universe. Things were not in order. That's what's going on right now. Jinopa Karepo, Nichakamira. No more mem chena uya padombo, padombo ir. Dichir kukurukura nae. Dakona va rume vala kumanya. Nama trakita. Nama greda. Kugadzira nzira kumsoro. Nukuzazi. Kwenjimbo i. Now it's the duties now on us. Papa to never mwe wangwa kumanya na magreda na matata ugazira nzira. So when times are dire like this, when situations are like this, there have to be people who stand up from the body of Christ to say this situation is dire. But ashungo nzira, zungo shu gaziri, vana wangu wane shukujika from Norway. God has to inspire other people to act. Now we are being called to act. Verse 5. Verse 5. Murume mche na uyu, aka tanga kuba, patiri, achenda, kuna vai gazira nzira, na ma bridge, kuta awone kuti, shainge shi gazirwa, shakanaka here. So meaning there are angelic beings that are there now, whose duty is to see that our actions are there according, are we doing things right. Scripture is there to guide us, to say, are we walking scripturally? Hallelujah. But my main message or my main point in reading this is now at the end. 
inzwiri no shamisa ri cheats izgura kuti vara kunda muranda wa mwari pomwa zha Africa manje ra kuti apa ndi papa papa ine makoronga anga acherwa nzira dzisina ma bridge but the were men who were raised who started fixing this situation the dynamics of the situation there were men who were raised brothers and sisters you and me who were raised under the guidance and supervision of the spirit of god through his angels that surround us that look and watch over us and then the word said kumranda wamwa ndakanzwa inzwiri no shamisa ri chit i will bless the nation through you sapakato shandiswa munhu kuti aroba fadzenyika kumranda wamwa ri pomwa jo africa so now that blessing that was on him or that is on him is now on us it's now our duty now our responsibility to bless others through the abundance that we might have so i appeal to the children of god kuti kutenda kusina mabasa kwakadini it's dead therefore that said here in south africa we are going to set up a fund a relief fund for the members of the church who are not in a position to put food on the table right now because like i said most of our people are working for themselves they use their hands they need to go others i'm going to take a mabasa ka sena siana others even in the uk i was speaking to the bishop like yesterday others have been laid jobs but fortunately that's the first world and there are measures in place that governments put in place so that the governments can look after those people but we have other situations now we i'm not talking about people nyango sirukushand like right now i'm not working i'm not going to work but i've got reserves so i'm not talking about people like me who might not be going to work but who are able to fend themselves or look after themselves i've got food on the table right now i can still pay my bills god has blessed me god has provided for me i'm not talking about people like me who are not just going to work for for this moment but we are in a better situation no i'm talking about people who and so not going to for right now there's no food on the table right now as i speak there's no mealy meal there's no rice there's no meat there are no vegetables i'm talking about people like that to say we're going to set up a fund which now we're going to appeal to the children of god freely as you desire as you wish put into that fund whatever you can those who are still going to work those that that can still manage others are still working online others are still actually going to work and as simi mune simba takura kurema kwa vasina simba so isusu who have or we have put aside a little bit during this time of lockdown and extended lockdown i mean it's going to be basically 5 weeks where people have not been working other countries it's now 2 weeks where people haven't um haven't been going to work let's now assist uh, people in need i'm not saying give us as vatunga mire no i'm not saying that i'm talking about the munu the person in need i'm talking about mparizaru i'm talking about my mvangera i'm talking about my munyore i'm talking about i'm not i'm talking even about a non believer because as the body of christ the good samaritan he found someone that he did not know and he paid the expenses for that uh, medical those medical expenses so i'm not just talking even about Latunga no it's not that i'm talking about where the need is we're setting up a fund and we're going to appeal to people donate into that fund as you so wish kupa kune mfaro semi trade ungwazo say in the african apostolic church and through the structures of the church vavangeri will identify makere ke kwavari people in need vasina zvokudya and as a church we are going to look after the body of christ it's our responsibility it's our sole duty if we don't look after those people who shall shall we wait for ana for the hallows could we wait for papa fads right now that's going to but not attend they're donating and giving people they do not know yet as a church we stand no we cannot do that therefore my message today is 
as the body of Christ, we only have each other. Let's love each other through giving during this time. It's a temporary thing. The information and all um, where and how to do this, it shall follow um, through the structures of a church. It, you shall be informed how it will work, but let's not abuse this. It's not time to be abusing. If you have, can I There are people that store in there right now. Let's go out and help each other. Let's not just leave a brother and say, let it be well with you. Let's bless the nations. Let's let God use us to bless others. Hallelujah. I thank God so much. May his grace and love abide in our lives. Keep us well. Look and watch over us. Let's pray without ceasing. Let's pray without ceasing. Without ceasing and without season. Anyway, let's seek the face of God because it's only through him that our answers will come. The angel of Africa, Therefore, this is just a season which will pass. But let's pray without ceasing all the time. Let's meditate on the word. Let's contemplate on the word. Oh, Rish Makrodeva. This is a time actually. I was speaking to some of my friends and saying, we're getting a lot of time to be in the presence of God. Let's meditate on the word. Let's read the word. Let, let love abide. In the name of Jesus, I leave you all. Amen.